I am Gameroo's Hypernova Stormclaw, bringing you a new uh, tutorial video for you today. So today I'm going to be teaching you a bit about how to aerial. So I'm going to be showing you a couple things to practice so that you will be able to go up to the ceiling and hit all the aerials you want. So, what are some of the first things we need to practice? So, to actually be able to do an aerial, you need to be able to jump and pull yourself backwards so that your car's facing up. So if I want to go straight up for an area, a good way to practice this is to jump, pull myself back as quickly as I can, and just go straight up to the ceiling. So I just want to go straight up. Do that a couple times so you feel comfortable with it, so you can go ideally straight up to that ceiling as quickly as you can. Now once you get a hang of that, I want you to practice just jumping up, maybe from about this distance, and you want to just get to the goal as quickly as you can. So if I drive forward, and I want to get right here, as quickly as I can. And then get back to over here, do it a couple times just until you get used to it. Just feel comfortable doing this. If you can do this comfortably then you can just skip this but just do that until you feel pretty comfortable. So now you need to know how to roll the ball up the wall. So to be able to roll the ball up the wall for this next step you have to hit the ball with a front flip. So if I boost and front flip the ball rolls up the wall. So once you can get the ball to roll up the wall this is a good start. So as I rolled it there, that was really hard. So that's going to be a really high aerial, which is really hard at first. So what you might want to do is to roll it a bit closer to the wall. And then try and just... Try and aerial it as soon as you can off the wall. It's kind of hard because you're having to come off the wall. If you can do it with a friend, that might be easier. Because then you have your friend knock it up and then you can aerial it. So that might be a bit easier. But if you have to do it yourself, I might have to do it a bit higher just so I can get up to it in time. But then you can just practice hitting that ball. So once you start getting a bit of a handle on it, you can control where you want to hit it. So you might say, I'll hit it up in the middle here. I'll aim for that goal sort of thing. Just try and build up what you can do with it. So it gets a bit easier when you can hit it a bit higher because you get a bit more time. So if I hit it from about here up the wall, I should get a bit of time to be able to aerial it. So here I might be like, I want to shoot it at that goal. I want to hit it in that corner. So there's just lots of little bits you can practice. You don't have to be able to do a front flip in your aerial, but that is how you get more power on your aerials. So if you just do a normal aerial and hit it with the side of your car, you're not going to get as much power as if you go up for an aerial and you front flip and hit it with the tip of your nose as you front flip. So this is a new thing you're going to have to learn, and I'll show you how to practice this in another training mode. So this is what you can do in free play to try and improve your aerials. You can hit it off walls, just get it up in the air, just practice aerial in it. Now, to be able to then improve this, we want to go into Rookie Aerial Training. And some of the first things you want to do is just come up to the ball. Jump up and just aerial into the goal. Doesn't have to be hard, doesn't have to be anything flashy. Just get it in the goal. So that's what we want at first. We just wanted to get it in the goal. So then once we can get it in the goal from that distance, we want to go from wherever we start is where we have to start aerialing. And then we just want to aerial from wherever we start and just get it straight in the goal. It doesn't have to be a really flashy goal, just has to go in the goal. So this is just training you to be able to control your car in the air. So then once we start getting the hang of this, we want to start getting a bit more power on it. So you have to be a bit closer because you can't do a front flip and your boost until you have a certain amount of time. You have a certain amount of time. So you want to jump up, boost, and front flip as you hit it. Because if you have a look at my power, you can see that for this shot, I got 108 Ks. And it's a lot harder to save a shot from 108 Ks than it is a shot that goes at 20 Ks. So that is some of the stuff you can practice in Rookie Aerial Training to make yourself better at these kinds of aerials. Um, you can practice doing it backwards as well. Once you get really confident with forwards aerials, you can start doing it backwards. So you can start reversing and jumping up for the aerial and hitting it. So that's kind of a further step that you can take these aerials, but for the start, you really want to focus on just doing it forwards. So, the next step after Rookie Aerial Training, if you can do all this, is you want to go into Pro Aerial Training. So then, you do Pro Aerial Training, and you'll jump from the same spot. You'll jump from further back, you just try and hit it in the goals. So it's kind of weird when it's not moving, for me, but... Um, it gets a bit easier when they do ones where they launch it. But you just want to go from as far back as you can and just try and hit the ball in the goal as I look like a horrible player. There you go. 
just had to concentrate a bit, sorry guys. So that's one of the things you practice, you just go into pro training and you start doing these ones. You just build it up, you build it up to the point where you can actually aerial pretty competently. So then, once you start doing that, the next step is to try and improve how fast you can do it and how fast you can hit the ball, how controlled you can hit the ball. So, I might aim for this corner of the goal for certain shots, I might aim somewhere else. It just depends what you want to do. You might say you want to do it sideways. All of these are fine variations. You just want to keep building it up until you get more confident in your own aerials. So, Sometimes it's just you're gonna miss you're gonna miss a lot and it's gonna take a while But eventually hopefully you'll get good at aerials. So once you can do pro you really want to step it up and Go to all-star aerial training. So this is where it gets a bit harder This is where you have to be able to read the ball in the air. So you want to be able to get up And you have to hit the ball, but this is where it's a lot harder to aim because the ball's going at a different angle a lot higher. So usually in game, you're not even going, um... In game, you're not actually even going that high for aerials most of the time. Usually you're not going to the ceiling for an aerial. So this is really kind of the hardest aerial sort of training you'll do. And it's actually easier, I find, in game than it is in the training modes. But the thing about that means that when you do the training modes, you'll get a lot better at it in game if you can do those consistently. So... Just keep practicing it guys, I know you'll be able to get better, better at aerials. If I can do aerials like this, you can definitely do it too. So, I hope you guys, I wish you good luck with your aerials, hope you the best, and I hope you have a nice day too. I'll catch you guys.